Welcome back, back to part three of our series of movements in this mm. country called Canada. Toronto, to be precise. Now, so I see subscribers, we welcome you back. Yes, so the new you. ones, welcome for coming in. So the new immigrants that are listening to our story, we welcome you. To all of you that are on the fence, please subscribe. Bro. And to those of you who already are already living in Canada, please welcome. Watch, share this video, give it a thumbs up. Let's get to it. Let's continue our part story. two, part three. Part three. Now, it was a week. I uh, was going to go and meet Eli. Mm -hmm. On Tuesday, I texted her. I said, uh -uh. No, she texted me on Tuesday that, oh, do we have the Equifax report ready? I said, The link you gave us is not working. It's not, working. It's not yes. working. I could print out my, oh, I already have my report. You have to pay, safe. Yes, I have, I have to, to pay. pay but no, it was not working. It's okay. Yeah, okay. That that, well, okay, we should send hats over through text. She should send the report through text. We say no, when we come, we say don't no. ever send your credit, your reports, details, any, your thing, your, your personal your number, social insurance number, your your credit credit reports, reports, your your driver's license, anything that has to do with your information. Never, never send ever. it via text message yes. to anybody. anybody. Never. So we we came. We said, okay, well, where are the pictures of the equipment? Like, that was part of the agreement. Exactly, she was supposed to send she the pictures. She was like, oh, Actually, yeah, they are coming in, they are coming in. We said, okay, what's this schedule for Friday at 10? 3 p.m. 3 p.m. And she said, yes, okay, Friday came back. And before then, at least the very, uh, I we know, rented a car from a different uh, location. Yes, because, location. Yes. Somebody cannot be, you know. Anyways, so we went on Friday, we past the way the time we attack here oh we're going around before 3 p.m right mm -hmm. and then she called, I called her i was like oh we're on our way to this place. she was like oh no that she's in pickering <laughs> pickering is another city that time can we move the thing to 6 p.m we say okay mm -hmm. the galivant are here again they got are you those gas? are nowhere akia is because we don't want to pick for parking akia, spots for people that don't know what akia is a furniture store that your entrance the your they will make you you will enter through you go right. everywhere you go every store. The only store way you, you can go. exit from the store is by going around the huge around. furniture store. So we, I mean, we're already looking around for furniture because obviously we're moving in, right? Yeah, well, we didn't so, have any furniture. We didn't have any furniture from yeah. where we're coming from. Only box and cooking, cooking stuff. So we went and then we say six p.m. is fine. Just want mm -hmm. this lady to text us up at ten. Five thirty. That oh, she doesn't think she will be able to do it today. That they are moving things from Pickering to this place back and forth. And our five hundred dollars is in this woman's account too. Our five hundred dollars is in her in, is in her account. So hmm. she said, okay, tomorrow at what was it four p.m. She said okay. that's a Saturday. But Saturday. So she said Saturday at twelve. Two. Twelve. It was twelve. twelve. Then she changed it to four p.m. They carry, they carry, they went they to carry worry guys a paper, yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Then we went to Walmart to one because in this place, you see, in Toronto, it's very difficult to find parking. Parking. So and when you find you pay, pay. yeah, when you find you have to pay, where you can go to. So we're like, okay, let's just go to Walmart because mm -hmm. Walmart is very close to the freeway. Yeah, at least we can be looking at things for our house. We went to Dorama first. Then we went because we wanted to look for designs now, you know, moving into the place, right, right. furniture. We went to Dorama, then we went to Walmart, burning gas, and your children. We don't, we are saving money, so we're not eating out. No, we don't. So now, what's it carry us for money for belly? Yes, you know. <laughs> I won't even buy ice cream. That's that's like punishment to my. There's ice cream at all. If I should eat out when I'm not supposed to eat out, I punish myself for it. I like, give myself punishment. Yeah, so we went, we say, okay, 4 p.m. Bah? We came 4 p.m. The same rain from Toronto to Macan. Heavy. We got there around 4 or 5. Saw this woman and her and the man that she was driving with. Mm -hmm. Driving their big truck away from the place, so I called and said, "Why here?" They were like, "Oh, they've been waiting for us since they agreed for coffee and that like they have left to go and have lunch." We said, "We just saw your car moving. Mm -hmm. yeah, come back right here. We cannot wait for you mm -hmm. for this thing." So she came back. We showed her the credit. I finally purchased my Equifax credit report. Credit reports perfect, beyond excellent credit reports. This man, they they touch the iPad. They want, I said, "Why are you? What are you looking for in this credit report? The number is there. All the what are you looking for? Here? What are you looking for?" She was like, "Oh, well, okay, okay." She was not as herself. We said, "Okay, let's go inside now." And this, because she didn't take us inside the house. Exactly. She did, this time she didn't take us back inside the house, which means yeah, that she herself. has not bought those mm -hmm. um, equipment Only got for the house because we she never sent any she was pictures. An agent. We don't know if she was an agent. She claims that she's the one that owns the, the place house. and all those things, but we don't. We, you know all those stuff and. Um, it was a, a it was a zero a hundred to a zero mm -hmm. real quick energy because, energy energy because the first time we saw her she was very kind of pleasant and all the stuff. We saw her son, we saw her husband on the first day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To give us a contract. Even brought they brought water, water, water to drink. drink. Very hot that time. A week so, before. Yeah. So but this was, time, you know, she went to what was going on. Mm -hmm. And mind you, children of God, before we move out to anywhere, 
we always tell God that please take care of our brain and our community. Peace movement. Let divine favor follow us. That which you want us to meet and experience and learn, let's be able to discern. Mm -hmm. So we started seeing she was sweating. All these signs, you know, signs of like papa. Pa, pa. We just did you expect us to have bad credit score? Like I think so. She was. I think that's what she was expecting. Because I don't know what you're looking for. Anyway, she hopped into the car too with the guy, her husband or her partner, whatever they call them. And you know, you made up your mind. I don't know what they did. When she came out with cash of five hundred dollars, oh, we're Jesus. no longer interested. Nobody can give you cash of five hundred dollars unless you are up to something. Now, why did she not return the money back? Via the interact, interact is online banking, so that there will be trace of it. My only is that you knew you were not interested. You made us spend, you know how much it is to rent a car, and, and to be paid for parking spots, and then to be paid for gas. And then you know you're not interested. Why didn't you just tell me all of this? I should have been looking. We should have been looking for places, mm -hmm. um, within the week. Now we have two weeks. Put on my weights. In one basket. This was ending of July. We had yeah. we had to move out by August twentieth, mm -hmm. right? So we're like, why? She's like, oh, they're no longer they're, they're just not interested. I say, okay, this five hundred dollars. Please write it down. I still have. You're going to bring your paper from the five hundred. Yeah, oh, I have the documents. Here's the paper. It was very painful. It was very painful. Another thing we had to deal with was. How are we going to call our parents now and tell them that the prayer that we all thought has been answered? We're back to square. We're back to square. Want to start looking? You know, it was very painful. Where is this paper? See it here. The paper right here. It cannot be like a person not they keep things. We have the year for any future reason. So you must always keep your documents, write always. everything down. If you are there, record. record. If record you are there, all. voice notes. Use your voice notes on your phone because you to never record. Know. Because you never know. Like we made her, we made her sign that she's giving on this. Because if, yeah. if we go and $500 is fake to be able to deposit in the bank, I want to be able to trace you. I want to be able to trace you. Yeah, because I have all the receipts here. Ever ready. Ever ready. Just in case it was counterfeit money, because mm -hmm. who's going to give $500 cash? Mm -hmm. Ah. -ah. That so, was numbers. That was a huge yes, uh, red flag. They entered, they left us dead, dumbfounded and shocked, zoomed off. Me and my sister were there standing. I couldn't shout. She was like, I don't know. And everything we did, thanks. Went into the car. We said, God, we cried. Oh. Tears, we cried. And we're like, you know, God, please just take us back home. Mm. Safe, safely. Safely. We went back home. Arrived safely in the rain and everything. Arrived safely. At this point, one of our other friends was also looking for a house as well. And then we, three of us, we planned to see the Lion King movie. But well, we went back home to start searching for houses. Then we found and Sean. Sean came back. Yeah. You know, Sean was available now. We told her we're interested in three places to see three places mm -hmm. and, and blah, blah, blah. So we went, you know, saw the place that evening. Around the same, it was around the same area, area. When, we, when we saw her in May, around the same area. Yeah, the first and then she was like, okay, she will send us the documents and we can start processing it since we like them and we're ready to move in. We didn't mind, in the place where we were, where we were living, we had already paid for August rent. But if it took landlords to say, you have to move in by August 1st, we were, we're ready, ready to, to pay move. additional rents. To and how back, back desperation. desperation. So we agreed. Shan that night sent us, sent us the the three applications for the three locations we mm -hmm. found, right? Mm -hmm. We filled them. We were supposed to be at the cinema by 9.30 for the movie. Mm -hmm. My sister here was making sure that we filled. We almost quieted that night too. Was it Lion King? It was Lion King. King. It was a, not a Hollywood movie, but ended, we ended up watching it, Lion right. King. We ended up watching Lion King again. So we were there, we filled out all the applications. We even asked Shan, we see all these applications. We are they going to? This, we are not able. We are telling like me that bank statements. I have to fill all of these for people to decide whether they will accept me or not. Without they, even seeing the without landlord. Seeing the landlord so they, have to so deal they don't. The, 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 the agents. There are four people the involved. Landlord. We, our agent, the landlord, agent, and the landlord. We so the, and the agent is themselves. Yeah. So we say. So we have to deal with all this, all these situations. Personal information. And she said, yeah, that when in the event that they don't agree, they, that they have a contract where that all the information will be. Shattered and shredded and discarded, but I mean, we trusted Shan and till today we still trust her because still trust nothing yeah. has been done yep. wrong with her information, mm -hmm. right? So we said we filled out the stuff, we went, and then we came back. Um, what even happened the, ne the next day, which was a was it a Sunday or something? A Sunday, we 
No, the next thing we chose the Sunday, we went, we returned the car, we went to church, came back, we turned the car, we we're passing by, yeah. we saw a furniture store shop, we came down, entered the furniture store, and then I was also still looking for house listings. When I found this house listing, I called the agent, mm-hmm. and while we were in the furniture store, do you know what this agent told me? Well, uh, are, are you working with mm-hmm. an agent, agent? Yeah, or do you have an agent, whatever? I was, I was like, no, we don't have, we're asking ourselves, like, oh, just you guys, well, good luck for a place, and Thank hung up. You. For a place and, yes. home mm-hmm. and that's another thing we learned that agents will not want to deal with regular, regular people that are not agents. People who are tenants, they want to make sure that you have an agent that they will deal with. How can Tomorrow an agent we don't tell you we don't understand what? why. I don't know how can an agent anyways we, between this time Sean was still emailing us more listings anyways. Yeah. But we had, you know, different options. You know, if it doesn't come from Sean, at least we'll come from somebody else. So Papa we the furniture whatever will be in a different series, mm-hmm. right? So that Sunday left, we dropped off the car, we came back in on Monday morning, they used a denied, denied, denied to based on our foreheads. That night we filled up the application. We're filling up the application. We filled it up on Friday or Saturday night. On Monday, deny, deny, deny. A whole week, children of landlord and landlady. They have everything ready. I mean, we showed you the banks. Information that we were supposed to give, even letters from our landlord showing that we, our current landlord showing that we went from our employers. employers. From our employers, every single thing. Records. We gave them every single thing. was clean. They rejected us without even seeing our faces. Clean. And to even our own agent, and she was so shocked. shocked. That was not the only rejection we got to. Uh-uh. Move on. Now, we are at the end, the bottom of July, right? Went to a place which is where we're currently living in the area we are currently living. I went, I saw a place, I was like, okay, it's good, it's affordable, they have good, whatever, it's close to where we were staying before. Yeah. So we said, okay, we'll go with this. You should send the application. And then there was another place in the same location that was also free. We said, okay, send the application to those two places. At mm-hmm. least one of them will accept us. So she told us in the evening that well, she'll be discussing with the agent, you know, that the owner said they don't even live in the country. And they need 12 months rent. The first one needed 12 months up front and the up second months. one needed 6 months, at least 6 months up front. Do you know how I many thousands of dollars that is? I say who in Canada, who, has, who that in Canada has that type of Is everybody money? not running on debt and, and credit card? Exactly, and rent is every month. Why would you need 12 months rent? So, if I need to speak with someone and say it's something is wrong broken. with their apartment, they already broken. have the money in their account. They're not going to care. They're not even talking about positive checks. They're talking about the whole money up front. Up front. I said, are you okay? This is somebody with a clean, we said we have a clean record. Even for this application that we sent, I was asking my sister, I said, could it be our names? Is it because we are Nigerians? Is it because we are black? Why yeah, are people not ready to us? You know, yourself, should no. I do this? You mean, I don't even know what was going on. You know, that day, um, after I saw the place, because you, you were at work when I, when I yeah. visited the place, came back with Sean, I went to the, to, the, to the crying center to go and cry. The crying center? Hmm. It's a place where we go and you get to a point in your life where sometimes you can't really talk about your, talking about your, your parents will not help you. They can't help nobody, you. Nobody, you are alone and by nobody, yourself. Nobody knows what you're passing through. Like people will be telling you, oh, I know somebody who lives in Toronto. I mean, they're paying $500 rent. Yeah. They're living in this place. They are living in a one room bedroom with 13 different people. Yeah. I don't want to live there. Their story is not my story. So don't be questioning me for my choices and everything. Because it happened for somebody that you know, that somebody that knows somebody. Does not mean it's going to be the same thing for me. I'm not getting. That somebody's living in a basement, that's why I'm looking to live in a mm-hmm. basement. There are people who are okay living there, there are people who are okay with living multiple people, and that's their choice, right? So, one person told us, one person that we contacted, an agent that we contacted, that told us that, oh, eh, they are renting this place, but the landlords, they live in the basement, so they are renting one floor. The other floor is occupied by other tenants. Can you imagine? So, you don't know the different You don't know the different And they are sharing one kitchen and yeah. We didn't even proceed. You've been to one of your friend's places where, like, the door was opened down, and they stole their TV. Eh! Hey! Yeah. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Yeah. So and so when we went to the crying center, mm-hmm. the crying center is a place that we go to. You see the counselor. The counselor is looking at you. You are looking at them. You are looking at them. You are looking at them. But you are crying. You can only feel the so counselor. Feel then this. we started crying, asking questions. Asking Why us? Questions. We are good people. Why is this mm-hmm. happening to us? Why do we have to go and see over twenty places? Why do we have to places? spend so much money? So much money. Burn a lot of. Money gas and everything so we cried and cried and cried and then we told the counselor counselor we told the counselor the only noest of noest the one who sees all things the one who sees the end from the beginning and the beginning from the end 
We say we are finished talking, shall we are finished crying. What we am I going to do? You do. We wiped, we wiped our tears and we said we are what we're leaving it here. We're done. We're leaving it here. One more place I'm going to check out. One more place I'm going to check out, and and, I, and that's, that's it. it. We we'll give up after that place. That's it. What that's am I going to do? You do. This, mm-hmm. this woman, you know, where is obviously God. God. And the yeah, crying Jesus. center we went to Let's was the chapel. Let's we went to the church. Can't be church. Like it was. We just had to, just peace. Just to our flesh because we gave up. Anyway, so this particular last place that we applied for, where they wanted all the rent up, up front, mm-hmm. they shall deny us. Mm-hmm. Right? We expected that denial. Denial? I did not expect it. I think that one for the rent up front, we expected it because I it was a shock. Because at first, that was I mean, the condition. We the, that was the condition. They said that, oh, there was somebody else who was willing mm. to even do six months. Six months up front. Yes. So, but they can do the 12 months up front. That would they give us the place. Yeah, that's true for that. That's an advice that we have to give. When it's too good to be true, when people are pushing you and making you, they, are, they, they want you to push you and beyond your comfort zone. Don't yes. Don't make it. impulse decision and all that. Especially if Flee. You, when you are even hungry, so don't make those decisions. Tell them you think about it. And yes. Tell them you have an important meeting and leave that place. The painful part of one thing is that after looking at all this, when they even deny you, you will go back to look at the listing the and place. you will see that it's still up for them. Because Eli did that to us. The place was still for two like months. For two months. Eli she was fluctuating the rent. And we knew that she was continuously posting that Reposting on, on Kijiji because you will see the day she was as, as, as a place in Toronto, but that's not true. Mm-hmm. But God yes. had greater plans. Mm-hmm. So, the last bus of which we agreed to go to with God, we met, we met the same landlord and we came, we saw the place, we loved it, we wanted it and everything. Mm-hmm. And the landlord was like, okay, that um, they need somebody for September. Hmm. We have to be out by August. We say eh, we will do it. Which means two weeks we will we might two be weeks partially we'll homeless. Right? We, we, we say we will do it. That's okay. We, we, we accept. We take we we we'll it. There's no choice. There's we, nothing again. We like the vibe of the environment. Everything we were selling nuts. It felt good. We were like, okay, yeah, we'll do it. So we said, okay, well, he's still showing the places to other, other people, people on Saturday and Sunday. So he cannot give it. He cannot give us his word. Now. But on his word that he will... He will not give. He will not take any decision sure, until he sees us know. on Sunday. Until okay. he sees us again on Sunday, and we say we will hold you to your word. So I asked him. I said, "What are you? Are you the age? Sorry, not what are you. Who are you? Are you the owner, the agent? Because we've been through a lot in the last two months, right? Well, and it was a bit, you know. He said, "Was about to say, well, um, so we agent, need to know, but like the person that owns the property, I know them. This what are you? We say he's the owner. Wait. We say we jump." Hey! Yeah, yeah, yeah. This we say thank you. We say we have all our information. Do you want all the rent up front? We want it. We want it. We want it. No, this was after being this because the energy was positive vibe. There this, was this, this. I do. They denied us from two places in this side. So this house that I'm saying is in the, in the middle, middle of the center. Of the two places where those wish, wish yeah. by the yeah. landlord, wish by the grace of God, had denied yes. us. We accept the denier. As children of landlord and landlady, we accept it because we know there were better things for us. <laughs> oh, oh my God, man! So by the time he told us that, we jumped, we leaped for joy, and he was shocked. Like, what's wrong with young ladies? Then something came upon us. The sun was so shining, freaking hot. No rain, no ounce of it. even teardrops. It was hot. No moisture. It was hot. hot. Sign, I will tell her, wait, so we're not looking for a place anymore. That place is our own. Okay. Anybody, anybody that comes to come and see the place, they, they will be, yeah, yeah. They we will not be told in that. Say anybody that will come and see this place, you will not agree with them because this is our place. They say, well, he keeps to his word and blah, blah, blah. Said, okay, say, okay, no problem. Sunday. Sunday, we went to go and see him at the restaurant and the documents. He said, okay, he's going to take it to um, his wife, which was the owner of the place, and then they will see what. He would pitch his own stuff for us and he will see what they can do, right? And guess what? As children of faith, you see, when you talk to God, he listens so so you have to be careful what you're asking from God. Mm-hmm. Now, I told the lie, I said, well, this one that this um our landlord had, he wasn't our landlord then had not given us yes or no. Mm-hmm. Let us still check for like options. Options and he was he wasn't even pressing on the money or he wasn't like, pressing, he wasn't, wasn't pushing. Right. They you said know? they are just looking for good people. Yeah. What are we? Good people! We are the answer. <laughs> we are the answer. We are the answer. We are looking for good landlords. We are looking for good people. We know that our parents go through as landlords. So there's no way we're going to do that. Us, and that's what we told him. We said we know what it means to be landlord. 
So we're not going to do anything yeah. but and we kept our word mm-hmm. since then, right? And so I went to so that that Friday we checked for places. The only places that were available were to move in. You have to move in in September mm-hmm. or something far. Then something I we found the place, place, but I needed to use a car to yeah. go there. And we said we're not ready. Searching. No, I was oh, searching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No car was available. Yeah, all the cars were available in September. All the cars were available because people in September. Had booked all the cars. Yeah. Summertime now. Summertime, and I yeah. think people were also preparing for some holidays or something, Labor Day or what. I don't know mm, what was coming people up. People actually rented the car. Rented the car, you know, and all those things. Either that or the other ones were overly expensive, like five hundred dollars. Yeah. So we're like, to be doing that. Like, so are we going to rent the car for the weekend five hundred dollars? And so we that. said. Well, I'm not going to even go to kill myself. Mm-hmm. What will be? What's gonna be? It's gonna well, be. Well, like and just we are already our own. Oh, no, that's our own place. That's mm-hmm. where we want. Sha. We so God, yeah. Mm-hmm. So we found peace. So I'm not going to kill again. With uh, the man, the landlord on on Sunday, and then on Tuesday, I woke up in the morning and, and said, then I got a text and he said, "What did he say?" And he said, "I forgot to you." Are the yeah, one. Yeah. <laughs> The thing is now we, we have accepted to go with you. We have to be the place is yours. Uh, let me look for the text. We have to look for this text because we have to read it from to because uh, docu document is very important. Please be out with me. He this... said, "Wait together." And he this. said, "Good morning." This was at seven twenty-eight a.m. Mm-hmm. Good, Good morning. morning. Let's meet. I, I have, have the rental agreement, agreement ready. Hey! I stayed hey! my room. I was ready to go to work that morning. I said, you know, we have found a place. I knelt down and I was praying. We are going to insert the video of when we were kneeling down and crying and praising. Because ah! you will see our house, sir. You will see our house mm. everywhere filled with boxes. Let me fill my cup. Hey, please help me too. Please. Please help me. Our place filled with boxes, ready to ready to move out. Now, nah, at least we know that the only problem is that for two weeks in August we don't have a good movie company. Oh yeah, to look, look for movie company and for a place to stay. That's going to be a different video. But Sha, we finally found a place. Because at that point we gave him a name. We gave him a name. Wait, oh. wait. Thank you. Thank you. It was at that point of the text message mm-hmm. that we decided to give him a name. We call him now. Baba Baba landlord. Landlord. He Baba is landlord. not African. He's mm-hmm. not Nigerian. So don't say because he's Nigerian. We call him Baba, Baba landlord. landlord because he's a Baba. So we went to meet we went to Baba. We got a document and then we met the we landlady. We went to the landlady. House, nice food. Restaurants, very nice food. We, we told him there yeah, that we'll be calling him Baba, Baba Landlord. Baba landlord. Yeah. So what does that mean? What to say? The Nigerian language means Baba is like you're an elder, elder. you're like you keep to you. you're for keeping you keep to, to your words. words. The only one that kept to his word, him and Shan at least. The yes. only one that kept to his word. And we so, told we told we later told Shan and she was very she happy. was very very happy for us and everything. She was very so happy. um what even happened to self? Mm-hmm. We went, we signed the contract on the, the and the, after. And then he bought us he bought us lunch. Yeah, he bought us lunch lunch time. He bought us lunch. We said when we move, we'll not only buy us lunch, we will buy the drinks. So, yeah, so we we got we pray for the drinks, we're there, four of us. Then we asked, you know, why did you agree to give us? Yes, we this? asked the landlady why. And then she said, you know, we seem prepared. We're very prepared. We know the area, we're comfortable with it, and they want us to take the place as our own. Huh? That was it. Now all the prayers will be praying we're to like, God. Are you sure you don't want us to pay you six months up front? Or twelve months? We'll give we're like, no. We're like, no, 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 no. Money's not everything. This is, it was at that point we were leaving. We said, God has answered our prayers. Mm-hmm. We had to. He had to make us go through all these Round challenges about, yeah, to be able to, to get all the documents, documents, ready. documents ready, so that we can be ready. Ever ready and for that according to our Baba landlord, this place was not ready. On it, it, it was short notice when mm-hmm. we saw his advert mm-hmm. because the tenants who were living here currently were supposed to move out in January yeah. of the next year. Mm-hmm. Like things they gave him short notice, notice that they wanted to also leave. So, so we agreed, God opened the way where there was no way. Everything they were even concerned for us because they know that we did not have a place to stay for two weeks, so they were like, Anything that they can do, to giving help. us ideas that they will be here and whatever. I'm like, ah, that's fine, we we'll set with it, anyways. As is then, we, we, we told, tell you that in our. Or that we moving the storage to, and yeah that we help some people. Right? So we're still recovering from that trauma of house 
It's been a year. It's been a year, but now we're finally telling our story. Even our own family, they will watch the story from here because we couldn't we talk, could talk about it. We're going through a lot. It'll, you think that we've got the house and that's the end of the story. Wait. Just wait. <laughs> and Whether we're really homeless. Just now we've got the house. But for September, we have two weeks so that we don't have place to live. Mm -hmm. Just wait. So many lessons to learn. But with that, we leave you and we say, may common sense never depart from you. See you later. Bye.